Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to share with you the secret source from where UPSC is framing question in the environment section in the UPSC prelims examination. Guys, if you're preparing for the UPSC prelims 2024, you will accept that without environment, without performing well in environment, it is next to impossible for any UPSC aspirant to crack the UPSC prelims examination. Guys, but the problem is that in the last three years, particularly after 2020, the na nature of questions in the environment section has become very difficult, very dynamic and very unpredictable. So it is very important for you to prepare from the right resources from where UPSC is framing questions. So understanding of the pattern is very important. Otherwise, you will waste a lot of time. Guys, in the last couple of years, you can go and cross check. Very few questions have come from the traditional sources of environment preparation. Okay, I'll tell you what are the traditional sources, why questions are not coming from this section and what you should do and from which sources you should prepare so that you are able to solve most of the questions. If you listen to this video carefully till the end, I can tell you, you can easily answer most of the questions in the UPSC prelims 2024 from the environment section. Guys, my name is Santosh Pandey. I have the unique distinction of cracking the UPSC prelims examination six out of six times with one of the highest score ever scored by any UPSC aspirant. You can see some of my scorecards and in the contribution of environment has been very high in my high scores in the UPSC. So I know exactly how to score very good in environment section in the UPSC prelims examination. So let us begin. So guys, these are the three important sources for the environment, the traditional sources from environment where more questions used to come before 2020. Before 2020, a lot of questions used to come from these three sources. This is the Shankar IS book. This is the NCRT book. And this is the PMF book. All these three books are very good. Let me tell you to understand the environment concepts. Conceptually, these books are very good. But the problem is, if you see in the last three years, the number of questions coming directly from basic concepts on environment have decreased. And UPSC is focusing more on dynamic nature, unpredictable nature and current oriented nature. So what you have to do, you have to read a very good compilation of environment, very good compilation of environment, current compilation of environment is very, very important. So if you have to choose that we should invest time here, here, here or here, I would highly recommend that invest your time more here rather than these three books because the type of questions which are coming are more dynamic in nature. So if you are, if, if you have 100 hours, suppose I'm just I'm using, uh, assuming that you have 100 hours, then 70 hours has to be given to the current section and only 30 hours you have to give to the static section. Oh, okay, just I'm saying that 100 hours means 100%. Okay, 70% of the time has to be in the current section. Why? Let me just explain with you 2023 questions. So guys, let us see this question. This question, most of the students, this question, okay, did incorrect or they left this question in 2023. This question was on community reserve. Guys, let me tell you, this question was exactly from this article of the Down to Earth magazine of the September edition. Exactly. You can go and cross check in the Google each and every word, each and every word of this question has been taken from this article. So one thing what I have observed in the last couple of years, UPSC is framing question from this down to earth articles or down to earth magazines. Okay. How to cover this magazine? I'm going to tell you at the end of this video. I have a very important surprise. Please wait till the end of this video. Okay, guys. So you can see this question was directly. I'm Directly, I'm telling you, each and every word was mentioned in this article. Directly, it was taken from this article. Okay, next, you can see this question. Okay, next question, you can see the next question was on biodiversity management committees. Guys, this question was also taken from current affairs. You can see here, the biodiversity bill was there in news. It was passed in 2022. So, guys, we all know that we have a biodiversity act. We have a biodiversity act. This act was amended in 22 this act was amended in 22 so this act was in news for the last one year this was act in last one year and thus upsc has framed question on the act under this act a three layer system has been introduced which is the national biodiversity authority then the state authorities and at the local level we have the biodiversity management committee so this was in news directly it is a current affairs question i would say if you were preparing the current affairs properly, definitely this answer can be easily answered in the exam hall. So again, you can see this question was also taken directly from the current affairs. Again, you see the next question, consider the following aerosols, foam agents, fire retardants, lubricants. Okay. 
which of the following or how many of the above okay hydrofluorocarbons again you can see this is a hindu article january 10 2023 again you can see un says ozone layer is slowly healing okay so in this article they have talked about this hfcs they have talked about this hfc so this was also directly from the current affairs it is a very important news that the ozone layer the ozone hole is healing it was a very important news in the month of january you can go and cross check okay guys so you see this topic was in news and upsc framed this question a static question on that so although the question is very static but it was motivated from the current affairs next you can see this question consider the following activities this question is on carbon sequestration carbon sequestration guys again you can see november 29 2022 niti aayog came out with a proposal of carbon capture utilization and storage carbon capture utilization and storage and there was a report there was a report by niti aayog and in that report it is exactly mentioned this 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 line is exactly mentioned in that report this is also exactly mentioned in that report exactly word to word it is mentioned in that report so this was also directly taken from the niti aayog okay current affairs this is again a current affairs question niti aayog proposed decarbonizing of indian industry and there one of the strategies was mentioned was carbon capture utilization and storage okay again you see this was a current affairs again next and next let us see next question consider the following statements regarding mercury pollution guys again you can see here again you can see here mercury pollution parties to minamata convention discuss non binding declaration but can it help okay so in 2022 in 2022 parties to minamata convention were declare were discussing the non binding declaration there was a discussion on non binding declaration so this mercury pollution was in news and again you can see there was another news you can see in march 2023 mercury may be present in the kodai canal forest okay so there was a book released on mercury pollution and you see this question was asked in the may month you can see here so two reasons for this two reasons for this so every year there is one question on pollution every year there is one question on pollution last year it was on mercury pollution i will tell you what can be the probable question this year i'll tell you exactly everything just stay with me till the end you will be surprised and you will get a new perspective of how to prepare the environment section and you are going to thank me on the day of exam okay guys let us see the next question you see this question consider the following this question was on marsupials guys this question directly taken from the hindu science and technology section which comes on sunday you can see a fossil baby helped scientists explain how mammals thrived after dinosaur extinction in this they have discussed about how the extinction of species have happened and how the species some of the species have thrived in this they have discussed about marsupials marsupials you can go and google search and read it was a september 19 2022 article in the hindu newspaper sunday edition lot of questions comes from the sunday edition very very important guys you can see the next question guys consider the following regarding carbon markets carbon markets directly directly word to word taken from the hindu newspaper guys you know last year energy conservation bill was passed and this was basically to bring energy carbon trading in india carbon trading in india as you can see there was a proper explained section in the hindu what are carbon markets and how do they operate you can see directly the question on carbon markets from the hindu newspaper again it was on sunday it was on sunday newspaper so sunday newspapers are very important for science and tech and environment let me tell you i can guarantee you at least 50% of science and tech questions are only on the sunday newspaper on sunday from sunday's newspaper okay next question let us see recirculating aquaculture system again you can see directly from the current affairs you can see pib 27th august 2022 you can see here pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana you can see recirculating aquaculture recirculating aquaculture guys you all know for the last couple of years government focus is on blue revolution and in blue revolution the focus is through the scheme of pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana and you can see directly from the pib this question was asked this was also we can say directly motivated from the current affairs okay let us go to the next question guys you can see this question okay the waggle dance the waggle dance directly from the hindu newspaper you can see honey bee dance directly from the hindu newspaper honey bee dance directly directly word to word not even if you have just glanced the newspaper you can mark this question correctly if you have just glanced the newspaper you can mark this question correctly guys let me tell you so many of the students they are wasting a lot of time here and there but if they have the right resources 
cracking upsc prelims is very easy super easy guys let me tell you okay let us see the next question guys invasive species specialist group invasive specialist specialist group again guys for the last one or two years you must have come across in the hindu newspaper invasive species are in news particularly they are creating havoc in the western ghats and there has been a report by the ipbs about the declining biodiversity because of invasive species and again you can see this was a very easy question this you can easily eliminate the option because it is talking about what it is talking about database and generally database is prepared by what iucn 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 so the answer will be option a let us go to the next question guys consider the following statements some mushrooms some mushrooms some mushrooms some mushrooms again elimination technique okay all are correct elimination technique all four will be correct again you can see consider the following statements regarding the indian squirrels okay this is also a very general question species centric question so these are the new type of question which are emerging in the upsc species centric question they are giving you one species they are giving you the features and they are asking you okay which of them are correct or how many of them are correct okay very difficult if you have not read about them but if you apply option elimination then you can easily solve such questions let us see so guys what we have learned okay what we have learned let us see here what we have learned you can see how many questions you can see out of the environment question let us see here let us just count i'll take you take your only one or two minutes you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 okay so 10 questions out of 12 questions this is 12 questions out of 12 question 10 questions were directly from the current affairs now you see is it worth is it worth reading these books this bulky books year end okay now which is like we are near to the exam okay 2 3 months before the exam is it useful reading these books or it is useful reading the environment current affairs comparison so more important is reading the current affairs more important is reading the current affairs but i am not denying that you should not read these do, uh, these books these books are also important so what is the way out the way out is guys i have prepared this comprehensive environment compilation i have prepared the comprehensive environment compilation let me just show you this is environment compilation part 1 and this is environment compilation part 2 this is a special compilation where i have only covered species in news and the protected area in news which is of emerging field in the upsc prelims examination every year at least four to five questions are coming on species and protected areas okay and this is part 1 is about pollution ecosystem biodiversity international conventions climate change i have tried to cover each and every dimension i have covered the down to earth i have covered the kurukshetra i have covered the hindu newspaper science and tech section for the last one year comprehensively comprehensively go for this resource this is going to really help you and if you want to do the static part those books also you can solve our three environment test you can solve our three environment test and one is based on ncert and two is based on uh, standard environment sources all the major concepts i have discussed there along uh, i have i have framed questions on them if you basically solve those questions you will be able to prepare the static part also okay this is the only way you can score in environment okay go for this compilation it will really worth your time and okay give importance to current affairs again and again saying guys upsc it is very important for you to score very high marks in environment without scoring in environment it is difficult for you to crack the prelims examination and go through two sources okay if you are not having access to this optima notes you can okay basically go through the link in the description i mean suppose you do not want then what should be your strategy if you want to do on your own okay go and download the down to earth magazine for the last one year and go and download the hindu newspaper particularly the sunday edition for the last one year and you prepare these topics i am telling you definitely you will get at least five questions from these two sources and why these two sources are very important why these five questions are very important because very few in india very few in india i will say one in thousands one in thousands will be able to solve these questions and if you are able to solve these questions no force on earth can stop you from cracking the upsc prelims 2024 examination so if you want to crack the upsc 2024 examination do read the optima environment compilation and go through the optima test thank you bye bye take care please do consider liking this video if you like my analysis 
and please do share with your aspirants who are preparing for the UPSC prelims 2024.